Hey, Mr. Penrose. How's it going? Great. Mind if I ask you a few questions about your job? Sure. Okay, sir. Well, first of all, who are you and what have you done to Mr. Nesbitt? Mr. Nesbitt has been removed from his position. So, who's your replacement, Mr. Penrose? Any hard feelings there? Uh, Mr. Floyd. Um, I'm a little... I'm a little perturbed at him, actually. Well, Mr. Floyd, first question. How does it feel knowing you'll never be as good of an assistant principal as Penrose? Depressing. Very depressing. Uh, so you've gone from assistant principal to athletic director. How does it feel to be demoted? Uh, it feels pretty bad, actually. So how are you dealing with actually having responsibilities now? It's hard. Parents and uh, my teachers in high school didn't prepare me for having responsibilities. Well, now that you're athletic director, what are you going to do with all the fat stacks you're making? All of these what? Fat stacks. Lots of money, right? You know. Lots of money. Them. Well, most of it goes to my kids. So, when you were a teacher, did you ever get tired of teaching kids? Uh, just a couple, but uh, most of them are pretty good. So when you were assistant principal, did you ever get tired of breaking up fights? Never. That was one of my favorite things I, that, you know, the job could ask for. So, I've been wondering, Mr. Floyd, which kid was the, the final straw that made you want a new job? Uh, Andrew Hesserhagen. So what exactly does an athletic director do during the day? During the day? Well, Mr. Zeller and I just got done playing a really good game of one-on-one -on -one in the gym, so... Now, a lot of people around school are wondering, Mr. Floyd, why, why don't you ever smile? Um, a lot of people say I'm just a depressed old man that are not very happy at all, so that's probably the good reason why I don't smile. So. Okay, but seriously, Mr. Penrose, what kinds of things are going to stay the same or change under your reign as athletic director? My reign? Um, a, lot of the, yeah, a lot of things will remain the same in terms of day-to-day uh, -day things. Uh, so, let me just lay out a hypothetical situation for you, Mr. Floyd. Let's say a student is just running through the halls and he's got some cesium and a beaker of H2O. What do you do? Run away from him. Uh, a lot of people are wondering, Mr. Penrose, how exactly did someone as unathletic as yourself become athletic director? I don't know, just lucky I guess. <laughs>